Uh, hello everyone. Um, so this is the second video in the series of instructional videos. Um, so I'm assuming again that uh, you have your keyboard set up and uh, these videos will basically um, cover uh, short features of the keyboard so it's easier to navigate. Um, so for this video, I'm going to talk about the analog lab button um, and how that can be used in your workflow. Um, so the analog lab button uh, most of the time when you're using um, an Arturia keyboard, uh, either the Essential or the KeyLab, um, you want to be in the DAW mode the majority of the time. Um, but if you have Arturia plugins, uh, you do want to use Analog, analog Lab, uh, mainly because um, Arturia does a really good job um, assigning and mapping um, you know, their, their own keyboards, um, slider, sliders and encoders to the uh, plugin setting. Um, so I'm going to demonstrate that uh, today. Um, so let's add a Arturia plugin. Um, and let's use, uh, let's see, Piano V2. Okay, and um, any any of them work. You can even, you can even use pigments. Um, actually, let's, let's use pigments. Um, okay, so we have pigments uh, loaded here. And um, the one thing that you have to remember to do is that anytime you add a plugin, always remember to set the MIDI input port to 10. Um, and this is extremely important because this is the port that I forward all MIDI notes to. Um, so every um, button press, every slider, that gets sent across the port 10. So if you see nothing happening, it's because you don't have MIDI input port 10 set. And a quick tip is if you don't want to keep doing this and you want something faster, you can always just save the preset as, um, you know, and create a preset uh, with something you're interested in. So let's call this, uh, oh, well, I'm just going to press save because for some reason it's not working. But um, then when you want to load it, you can always go back to presets and you'll see it um, here. So doing that, this will restore the input port setting. Okay, so once, that, once that's done now, all you have to do is switch to analog lab mode and everything should be working. So we can, you know, select either a preset or select a category type. So uh, if you look in here, I'm interested in electric piano and maybe, uh, let's just pick a random one. I have no idea what that is. Okay. Um, and then, uh, you know, the other thing is like all these sliders, they also work. They're mapped to however um, Arturia has mapped them. Um, and so you can adjust, you can look at the display and then adjust each of these uh, to do so. Um, and so that's, that's basically it. Um, you know, the analog lab is nice to have and it works really well for Arturia plugins. Um, but for all other plugins, uh, you do just want to use the DAW mode. And I'll explain in another video um, how you can control uh, non-Arturia plugins with your keyboard. Um, okay, that's it for now.